So we can test multi-group moderation of a structural model in Smart PLS CBSEM. At this very moment on June 5th, 2025, it's not as easy to do it in CBSEM in Smart PLS as it is to do it on the PLS side, but it is still possible. Let me show you some approaches. First, you need to go to your data set. Here's my bootcamp original. And make sure you have data groups. I've already specified some groups, male, female, early and late adopters. And if you need to do that, go look at my other videos or just generate groups based on a specific variable, such as child order. And it will create those groups for you, which you can then rename. I'm going to delete these. I do not need these for this video. Okay, let's go back. I have groups. I have an SEM model. I'm going to calculate basic CBSEM algorithm and go to the data tab and make sure I'm doing this for groups. Uh, just Let's just do early and late adopters of technology. And I'll hit start. And what it will do is it will calculate everything for early adopters and late adopters. And I can see the estimates. Here's early and here's late. And I can toggle back and forth between those and see how those estimates in R squares change. If I'd like to see both at the same time, I can save this. Let's see, this is the late group. Let's save. We'll just call this late create. And then I can compare this to that. Here's that late right here. And let me separate these a little better. And maybe zoom out a little. And make sure I compare. Here's late here. Let me change this one to early. And now we can see those estimates at the same time. We can see, for example, this from ease of use to skill acquisition is negative 0 0.050, probably not significant, compared to negative almost 0.2 for the early group. Another potential difference is from ease of use to enjoyment. For the early group, it's a fairly strong positive effect. For the late group, it's a moderate positive effect. If I want to see these as a list, I can just go down here, final results, and go look at path coefficients, standardized, and I can see these side by side as their actual values. Now, if I'd like to compare those statistically, I can use that invariance tool I showed you before. So let's go back and look at the unstandardized coefficients. Copy these to Excel or Word. This is for the late group. And paste in A1. And let's go back and change this from late to early. Copy this. Go back to Excel, paste it in here. Get rid of the columns I don't need, which are T values and P values. And I also don't need those labels twice. And T values and P values. And also don't need this row here. And just like I did in the invariance video, we're going to go over to the stats tools package, go to the invariance tab, and in A2, paste, and copy this column, these columns down, and then make sure to sort by G. And we can see that there are no statistically significant differences between these groups, although we do get very close with playfulness affecting enjoyment. We can see that the estimate for group 1 was 0.773, whereas the estimate for group 2 is 0.398. With a z-score of 1.953, the threshold is 1.96, so that is really close. If we were looking at a 90% confidence level, that would certainly achieve what we were looking for. But the rest are clearly not different. Again, maybe if we were using 90%, this one would pass, but, but the rest, not different. And that's how you do a multi-group analysis with a statistical test of difference in Smart PLS CBSEM for now. Just for the sake of curiosity, I'm going to run this one more time with a different set of groups, the male-female groups, to see if we do find a variant path. I'm going to do this on Fast Forward. And there we go. Initially, we discovered that these z-scores were above 1.96, and so they were considered variant, but since we're testing so many at one time, we need to do a family-wise correction, the home Bonferroni's correction, and these were corrected back to invariant.
So no, there are no significant differences between these groups. Well, that was a good learning opportunity.